Good day everyone! Before I proceed to our lesson for today, I prepared a quick game for you which is 4 picks 1 word and I know most of you are familiar with this game. I will show you 4 pictures that you will answer with only one word. Answer each round in just 10 seconds. Are you ready? Round number 1. What is this? You have 10 seconds to answer. The answer is slope. Round number 2. What is this? Your 10 seconds starts now. The answer is tangent. And lastly, round number 3. What is this? Your 10 seconds starts now. The answer is line. So, based on the quick game I prepared, have you guessed what topic am I going to discuss? That's right, it is the slope of a tangent line. To start with, the tangent line of a circle is a line intersecting the circle at exactly one point. The horizontal line is our C, wherein X values can be found, while the vertical line is our F of C, wherein Y values can be found. And they intersect at this point, which is called the point of tangency. The lines through a point C and F of C, the one which best approximates the curve Y is equals to F of X near the point C and F of C, is the tangent line to the curve at that point. A tangent line is a straight line that touches the curve at one point. At the place where they touch, the line and the curve both have the same slope, or they are both going in the same direction. For this reason, a tangent line is a good approximation of the curve near that point. The curve and the tangent line are almost exactly the same near the intersection point. Now, to find for the slope of a tangent line, we have two formulas which are m is equals to limit of y minus y sub 0 over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to x sub 0 or m is equals to limit of f of x minus f of x sub 0 over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to x sub 0 but both are just the same. I prepared examples for you to know how to solve for the slope of a tangent line better. Example number 1. Find the slope of a tangent line to the curve y is equals to x squared at x is equals to 4. In this equation, the given r x sub 0 is equals to 4, y is equals to f of x is equals to x squared, and y sub 0 is equals to f of x sub 0 is equals to x squared, and we will substitute the value of x sub 0 which would give us f of 4 is equals to x squared is equals to 4 squared is equals to 16. For this equation, we will use the first formula which is limit of y minus y sub 0 over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to x sub 0. Substitute the values and we will get m is equals to limit of x squared minus 16 over x minus 4 as x approaches to 4. y is equals to x squared, copy the minus sign, 16, because y sub 0 is equals to 16, all over x minus x sub 0 which is equal to 4. By substituting the value of x in this equation which is 4, we will get 0 over 0 or indeterminate value. So we need to factor the numerator in order to avoid an indeterminate value. By factoring the numerator, we can now get m is equals to limit of quantity x minus 4 times quantity x plus 4 all over x minus 4 as x approaches to 4. In this equation, we can still cancel out x minus 4 in the numerator as well as in the denominator. Our equation will now be m is equals to limit of x plus 4 as x approaches to 4. And we can still substitute 4 in the value of x, which is now equal to 4 plus 4, and our final answer would be m is equal to 8. 
Now, for example number 2, find the slope of a tangent line to the curve f of x is equals to square root of x at x is equals to 9. In this example, the given are x sub 0 is equal to 9, y is equal to f of x is equal to square root of x, and y sub 0 is equal to f of x sub 0 is equal to square root of x, and we will substitute the value of x sub 0 which would give us f of 9 is equal to square root of 9 is equal to 3. For this equation, we will try using the second formula, which is m is equals to limit of f of x minus f of x sub 0 over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to x sub 0. Substitute the values and we will get m is equals to limit of square root of x minus 3 over x minus 9 as x approaches to 9. f of x is equal to square root of x minus f of x sub 0, which is equal to 3, all over x minus x sub 0, which is equal to 9. To solve this equation, we need to conjugate or rationalize. To do that, we need to multiply square root of x plus 3 in both the numerator and denominator. Always remember that we will always multiply it with the opposite sign of the given, which is square root of x minus 3, so we multiplied it by square root of x plus 3. We will now get m is equals to limit of x minus 9 over quantity of x minus 9 times quantity of square root of x plus 3 as x approaches to 9. Because square root of x times square root of x is equals to x and positive 3 times negative 3 is equals to negative 9. While it's just the quantity of x minus 9 times quantity of square root of x plus 3 for the denominator. In this equation, we can still cancel out x minus 9 and it will leave us with limit of 1 over square root of x plus 3 as x approaches to 9. Substituting the value of x, we now have 1 over square root of 9 plus 3. Square root of 9 is equal to 3 and 3 plus 3 is 6. So our final answer would be m is equal to 1 over 6. For our example number 3, Find the slope of a tangent line to the curve y is equal to 2x squared minus 8x plus 12 at the point 2 and 4. In example number 3, the given are x sub 0 is equal to 2, y is equal to f of x is equal to 2x squared minus 8x plus 12, and y sub 0 is equal to f of x sub 0 is equal to 4 because it was given in the point. For this equation, we will use the first formula again which is limit of y minus y sub 0 over x minus x sub 0 as x approaches to x sub 0. Substitute the values and we will get m is equal to limit of 2x squared minus 8x plus 12 minus 4 all over x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. y is equal to 2x squared minus 8x plus 12 minus y sub 0 which is equal to 4 all over x minus x sub 0 which is equal to 2. We can still compute the constant because there are two values and when we subtract it, we will get m is equal to limit of 2x squared minus 8x plus 8 over x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. In this equation, the numerator still has a common factor which is 2, so we will factor the three values by 2 which would give us m is equal to limit of 2 quantity x squared minus 4x plus 4 all over x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. 2x squared divide 2 is equal to x squared and negative 8x divide 2 is equal to negative 4x and 8 divide 2 is equal to 4. After this, we can still factor the numerator x squared minus 4x plus 4, which would give us the equation limit of 2 times quantity of x minus 2 times quantity x minus 2 all over x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. And in this equation, we can still cancel out x minus 2 in the numerator and denominator. And we will now get limit of 2 times quantity of x minus 2 as x approaches to 2. And we will substitute the value of x, which is 2, so 2 minus 2 equals 0, and 2 times 0 is equals to 0, so our final answer would be m is equals to 0.